Welcome to the channel for the first time. Viewers, welcome back from my existing subscribers. We're going to address the elephant in the room today. So <laughs> this video is going to be about Malusi and Ace. Um, I'm going to tell you about Malusi real quick and disclaimer. I had made this video because I did watch the Get Flank video and we have a lot of similar points. So shout out to him. I think we think alike. But I had made this video earlier in the week when I was playing the test servers. And this is just, it just goes to show you how, how impactful Malusi has been for us to both reference that she was like Ella when she came out. So let's get started. Some of the pros for Malusi that I have jotted down here that I'm going to share with you is that she's three speed with lesions, uh, SMG, which makes her straight up amazing. Even him being at two speed, that gun is amazing. Uh, he doesn't really have that full package, the mobility and the gun, right? So that's kind of like Ash with her R4C. Amazing. Fast and it melts. The Banshee is 100% broken. If you go back, which I'll link the video, but I was able to play against a few pro players that are definitely better than me. And because of the Banshee, I was able to get a couple easy kills. You just don't have that mobility when you're going through its range. I think that'll get nerfed. All right, so with that said, um, we're going to talk about her explosive abilities as far as she has impacts and they took away the shield, which is very powerful now that they've added the slits that you can see through. But they also gave her a nitro cell. So now it depends what you want to do. If you want to make rotate holes, go impacts. If you want to go and you want to, you know, nitro from below, <laughs> when you hear your banshee going off, you just throw your your um, nitro cell. And then when you hear the, the woo woo bass, oh, boom, hit that little button, they're gone. So to me, that is just, um, that's crazy. That's like, that's her utility is out of control. So she's literally like a one, a one-stop shop and she has everything you can ask for as far as pros, right? She even has a sighted secondary, which I forget the name of the pistol, but the one from Ella and Zofia. So you have the red dot sight built on there. So at that point, you literally have a sighted, a sighted secondary, a nasty SMG option, a super 90 if you need a shotgun, impacts or nitro i mean what else could you ask for right um there's really no cons to her other than the overall impact of siege right the overall impact of siege is that rounds will get a little bit slower rushing is not a thing anymore because if you put it in the right like we we joked around but if you put three malusis in the hallway it'll take that person like 15 20 seconds to get through that hallway so at that point you like you can peek them from like 100 different angles and the thing about it is if they're not Ash or Zofia or somebody with explosives that with range, they can't get to it and just shoot it out. Which is why I was um, in the next section here when I talk about what I think they should nerf. Definitely, it should be able to take some bullet damage or get destroyed by bullets. Maybe not one. Definitely not one. But it should be able to um, to be destroyed at range. So some of the things that I think will be likely nerfed uh, or buffed with Malusi. And after this, I'll I'll cover Ace. I would definitely think that she's going to be moved down to a two-speed. Uh, or they'll shift around her utility. I don't think that she'll go into the live servers with both. I don't think she'll have the Nitro and the... They, she, they might take her Nitro or take her Impacts um, and make you, you know, get a barbed wire instead. Which is also powerful, but not like the other. Not like the Shield, not like Nitro's. And not for mobility like impacts, right? The other thing I think might change is the Banshee. So her actual special ability, that little gadget she puts down. I think that she's either going to lose one or they're going to significantly nerf the range. Because right now you can see it, man. It's like the same like width and scope as a Wamai. Like it, it takes up like an entire, like half a room. So two of them can pretty much slow somebody down walking in an entire room, which is why we made the joke about like lining up in the hallway through different points, like and they'll never make it through. Like for example, bank coming out of dirt. If, so, if there's a Malusi on that table or behind that table, you're a sitting duck when you walk in because you can't retreat, you're already showing and you can't push forward because you just can't go. So at that point, you're up to the mercy of somebody peeking from blue or peeking from door, and you just gotta win your gunfight. Uh, so that, I don't know, it depends. Changes some things, but I think that will be the main things that you will see change. Shifting gears, uh, let's talk about Ace. Ace is a well-balanced operator in my opinion. Uh, some of the pros, he has the best gun in the game. 
Uh, the regular sights on the AK is a game changer. So I really like that he has the regular ACOG and a regular holographic. Um, I'm not a big fan of anything except the reflex Russian sight. Other than that, the rest are just like, I don't know. I think they're Garbo. But also, you have that safer alternative to using a Thermite or a Mav. And I think that, you know, tying into how safe it is to just throw that canister or the Selma and have it kind of drop down and destroy in sections, it's very easy to, it, to uh, impact trick, which is a big con. So it's easy to impact trick. I've gotten some very, very easy nitro cell kills <laughs> when the when the top opens. So if you throw it too high and your team can't aim in yet, which is like one of those weird things that people are figuring out, your team can't aim at the hole because you can't see. It's above head height when the first one goes off. Nitro comes through, right? So nitro comes through. Boom. Whoever's standing in front of garage or whoever's standing in front of the hole, dead. So it's just one of those things where... Teammates are dying, and I think over time you'll see people get a little bit wiser with how to use it. I've started to see some people blow the, the ground up first, like the, they throw it really low, so it's just boom, boom. Um, mirrors can counter it, which is, I don't know, it could be a con or buff the mirror, however you want to look at that. I also think that bandit tricking is just super easy. There's not, there's not too much risk. You lose a very small amount of health if they throw it high. Um, I haven't been hit directly you know, chest height or like face height with an explosion, but usually it's above me. It's like five or 10 health that you lose. So if you needed a bandit trick and you were going to lose five or 10 health, uh, and that was going to be the difference between losing a sight. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to lose that 10 health, which is less than one gunshot. And I'm going to stick it. I'm going to, I'm going to put that charge back on. Uh, so if they either sped up, I think if they sped up the animation, that would be something that would make him a little bit more powerful, but he wouldn't be broken. It would just make the people bandit tricking have to make a decision. Kind of like a thermite charge. When it starts to go off, if you didn't already start the animation, you got to make a business decision. Are you going to try to, if you're going to be within that one or two milliseconds difference where you get the charge off, or are you just going to be at the very end of it when it blows up in your face? Um, so I think that would be one of those cool things that people would need to decide. Like, am I going to stick the trick or am I going to take the damage, you know, and get hurt by this? Um, I also think that, you know, impact tricking it is super, super simple. And maybe increasing that would help as well. So, he's very balanced overall. Uh, not like Malusi. Malusi is extremely powerful. Like she's very powerful. He's got good. He's got a good loadout, good pistol, and the AK is just amazing. And that's all I use on him is the AK with Hollow. I use the AK with the ACOG, and it's just it rips, man. It rips, and it, it hits hard enough to take out. I took out three people in one hallway and still had some bullets left just because it just hit so hard, and it shoots really fast. So your bullets uh, for accuracy, that's to me, that's when it matters. If there's not a lot of recoil and it shoots fast, then the gun is going to melt. Right. So it's just like the it's like DPS. It's just basic mats, fast mats. Um, and overall, if I had to choose one, it would be Malusi overall uh, to, to say is the winner this time around at this launch. Uh, but they're both cool. They're both really fun to play and they're both useful, at least. So this is a very exciting season. It's been a while since we got two really, really good operators. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to see that both of these both of these ops are here. Uh, Malusi needs a little bit of work, but even if they release her into the server right now, I can promise you that after that uh, that one week is over, <laughs> ban. <laughs> it's gonna be Malusi and Echo, or Malusi and Clash, always, always, or Echo Clash, and somebody will let you play Malusi. That's just going to be how it is. Bro, it's, she's God. never going to be able to be played, <laughs> I think. Um, but, yeah, that's what I got for these two. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys be easy. Well, I'm not exactly very sneaky at the moment. Come plant. Come plant. I am planting. Where is last? Oh dang, she crouched. <laughs>